Hello and welcome to email test skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn a method to migrate one of the database from MySQL server to another. We will be using the GUI tool, which is MySQL Workbench, and we will be using the schema migration wizard. So the setup which I have is I have to migrate one of a very small database, which is in few MB uh, from uh, one Linux box to another. So uh, my setup has uh, uh, this thing uh, as uh, as I'm going to mention it. So uh, I have uh, two hosts, Linux 2 and Linux 3. The IP address of source server is 192.168.1.51. Operating system is uh, Oracle Enterprise Linux 6.5. MySQL version is 8.0 and the target is 1.61. The host name is uh, Linux 3. Uh, operating system is Oracle Enterprise Linux 6.5. I have the MySQL Workbench which is installed on my uh, local system which is a Windows system and Linux 2 and Linux 3 they are installed on the virtual machine and we, will, we are going to access them uh, uh, remotely. So in this demo, what we are going to do is to use the My, uh, MySQL Workbench. Uh, normally, when, when it is a local system, they, we use root, but it is the remote system. So root access through the root is not uh, desired. It is not, uh, uh, I mean, recommended. So what we are going to use uh, is uh, we are going to create a temporary account, uh, which will have uh, access to the, uh, the server. And uh, after this migration, we will be taking it off will drop uh, the uh, the uh, the users so I'm already logged into my source server using Movaxtrum, which is a GUI tool. Uh, this is my source server. If you can see 192.168.1.51, and this is my target server. Both are on Linux. So let us log into both the servers. So I'm logged into the source server using MySQL hyphen U hyphen uh, root hyphen V and uh, uh, this is my target environment. So what we have to do is we have to create a user onto the source server whose uh, uh, name will be MySQL backup 51 and it should be able to log into my uh, from my local system whose IP is 192.168.1.9 and uh, let us create this user. Uh, this will have the privilege, so kind of a high privilege so that it can uh, uh, can do everything onto the source database server and uh, similarly for we will do it for the target database server. So this is a user which has created MySQL backup 51 onto the source database server and it will be able to log in from 192.168.1.9. Now let's perform the same step on target database server. The user ID which we are going to create is MySQL Backup 61 and it should be able to log in from my local system whose IP is 192.168.1.9 and it should have access on all the uh, 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 target uh, databases. The user is created. Let us verify it. So you can see that MySQL Backup 61 is created on the target environment and it should be able to log in from this particular IP address, which is the IP address of my uh, targets, uh, which is the IP address of my system, local system. Now let's let's uh, connect using the uh, uh, MySQL server up to uh, using the MySQL workbench. So this is my 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 workbench, uh, and uh, I have already created the connection. Let us uh, delete them, and I'll, I'll quickly show how to do this. Although there is a tutorial which says uh, how it works or how do, can you create it. So I'm just going to click on MySQL connections and connection name. Um, this is my source database IP server. Let's feed in the source database connection name will be host name. You can give anything, but uh, I'm, I always prefer host name underscore uh, user ID. And uh, this is my user ID. Then it is asking for the host name. Host name is this one, 192.168.1.51. User ID onto the source system is uh, MySQL backup 51 and then just say test connection and it will prompt for the password. Let's keep the password handy password at 123. Save password in the vault. Connection is successful. Just say OK. 
and this is fine. I similarly, do it for the target database server as well. So this is the IP address of target 192.168.1.61. I'm going to create the connection. So connection name is hostname underscore uh, uh, user ID. And this is the user ID which we just created. MySQL backup 61. Just provide the username over here. Then uh, provide the IP address or the host name. Then just say uh, test connection. In the test connection, mention the uh, password. And uh, uh, this is the password. Just say so connection is successful. So we are good with everything. Now we will uh, you know, list out what databases we wanted to. Uh, to replicate so if I say show databases on to the source I'll just say show database using MySQL command prompt so there is there are seven databases. one of them is test DB similarly let's check it on to the target environment you can see there are six databases test DB is not existing so using uh, uh, this wizard we are going to uh, replicate this database from source to the target environment go to databases tab go to schema transfer wizard the schema and database they they are equivalent in mysql server you just click it and it will open a window schema transfer wizard database schema transfer wizard let me try it once again yes i'm logged into uh, a source database server look at uh, the databases tab then go go to my uh, schema transfer wizard and this should open a window i'm not sure if there is any problem let me click it once again i have closed all the windows related to mysql workbench and i'm starting it afresh let's click to the connection which is made for the source database server and under the database tab just say schema transfer wizard okay so welcome to the mysql workbench schema transfer wizard the mysql schema transfer wizard help you to move data from one older mysql server to the latest mysql uh, this is ga which is general availability version it is meant for developer machines to get your working with the latest mysql server quickly the data is transferred on the fly and is not based on a consistent uh, setup a snapshot this uh, works well for local instances that are used for development purposes please note that you should not use this tool on production mysql instances production databases require a more complex data migration scenario in most cases so this is the overview of in what cases we do it so you can see uh, there are two choices over here source connection and the target connection so the source is my 192.168.1.51 target is 192.168.1.61 just say test connection and it will display uh, that connection is succeeded just, just say next and it will ask for the schema onto the source so i just wanted to migrate test db just say start copy and it is very very fast it is it is not showing you so many options it is just copy and paste everything from one server to another server not many functionality it has so just say uh, next and finish this is done now let's go to the target database server and just say to show databases and it should display you the test db so it is very very fast as compared to 
other wizard which is uh, uh, migration which a wizard which is good for uh, production environment but if it is uh, if it is the uh, test environment or development environment you just go with this uh, it is not going to ask you for many things it is just the source connection target connection and that's it i hope this is going to help and thanks for watching